Okay, so I'm going to show you how to record your desktop. Uh, we like to do this for some of the Teams or Zoom recordings that we have for work. I mean, you can use this for anything that you're recording on your desktop or a window on your desktop or whatever. And so sometimes you want to use the microphone. Uh, sometimes you want to have the microphone off. Generally, if you want to have the mic and you're uh, listening to it at the same time, you usually want to have headphones because otherwise you're going to get like an echo uh, in your desktop audio. So if uh, your desktop audio is coming through your speakers, uh, then you're going to have an echo uh, in the thing. So what we want to do, you know, let's say we have a Zoom call or a Teams call or you want to record something on your desktop. We'll just do a Teams example here. So I have a few that are set up already. So let's say that I want to record the whole desktop, you know, everything that's happening at once on the um, on your call. So what you want to do you know if we let's say we have a, a zoom call right uh, or teams call so we'll go in here we're gonna add something we're gonna say okay we want to add so you can do this one of two ways uh, actually yeah let's go to zoom or no teams <laughs> so anyway so if, if you go and try to do a, a, a window capture okay um, you know it's gonna give you a bunch of these different things to choose from and if you pick teams that's in the web interface it's fine uh, but if you pick like say zoom or something then it's gonna be kinda messed up and I think teams in the application is also messed up uh, so if I start like a zoom call here okay So I go to a new meeting. All right, so I have a Zoom call and yeah, you can see my hand. <laughs> so I generally have myself. Um, so you can see me uh, clicking on my mouse here, whatever. Um, Anyway, I'm going to stop the video portion of it. Yeah, here we go. So we just get like a Teams Teams thing. And so if I go back to OBS and yeah, so let's go to that Zoom call. So if we want to see that Zoom one, we go to Window Capture, right? And we just create new. And so see the Zoom meeting is all messed up. So the Window one just does not... Uh, well, actually for Zoom it seems like it's working. That's interesting. Anyway. Oh no, this is the, yeah, the actual meeting itself does not work. So, <laughs> the meeting itself is all messed up. So, what you have to do for Zoom is we get rid of this. Uh, yes. So, for a Zoom example, you're going to want to go to Display Capture. Uh, you create a new Display Capture and then you just pick your display um, and it's just let it be automatic you say okay and so it's got everything that's happening and so as soon as you minimize everything now you can see that we're recording the the zoom piece okay um, so let's go back to obs here now as you can see uh, we have the desktop audio which is gonna record like what everybody is saying okay but if you want to record what you're saying this isn't going to work so you need to add here a audio input capture all right and you just pick probably like your webcam or something like that um which may be the default one sometimes you can choose default and it chooses the correct one but most of the time i would pick uh this guy and so now as you can see it's getting my levels and you can mute that if you want you, know, you can mute the desktop audio if you want generally you want to have this muted and 
And so what I do for Zoom or team calls, I actually split up the scenes where, so if I go to a Zoom and Teams desktop, desktop with no microphone, as you can see, it only has the desktop audio in here. It has the display capture and the desktop audio. And so then if I want to record what I'm saying, I'll, you know, it, it, it's a little clunky. You got to, you know, so, you know, if you're watching, you know, okay, you know, we're listening to the, uh, to the Teams meeting and we're muted and all this other sort of stuff. And so in order to get your question in the thing while you're recording, it's a little, probably better to have two monitors but this is one monitor setup so you have to unmute yourself right and then you have to go back to OBS and go to your scene with the microphone that you've put in here and so now you can see the levels and you're recording yourself and it's really nice um, so generally with zoom and teams you really want to use the desktop uh, like I said if you have a web, web interface so if I go to like Teams or something like that, right, I, I actually um, can, you know, just use the Teams window and I don't have to do this desktop thing. And then I have a, a similar thing. It's with mic and no mic and all that sort of stuff. So this is a little confusing. Generally, the one you're going to want to use is this one um, with no mic. And then when you have a question, switch to this. I mean, you can just use this scene desktop with mic and then just like, um, but you're going to have to have your earphones in because otherwise you're going to get an echo. Uh, and then generally you're going to have this muted. And then when you have a question, you turn it on, but you're, you're still going to want to have your earphones in anyway. So I know this is like uh, easier than dirt. All right, so if we go back to, I don't know, one of these other examples or something here. We'll just go back to the Teams one uh, with the microphone that's currently muted. Uh, so something we want to actually do now is look at the video settings. So, uh, so there is a bunch of settings. I tend to like to do the advanced mode. You can do the simple mode, but I don't like it. Um, don't worry about streaming right now. That's for other things. I actually don't even use OBS for streaming. I use XSplit because OBS, you have to pay money, I think, if you want to do more than one stream at a time. Um, you have to pay money for XSplit too, but you can, I don't know. I just like it a little better for streaming personally. So anyway, so for recording, advanced mode. You want to set your recording path, so where you have everything. Recording format, I think it defaults to MKV. I like to have it as an MP4. Um, the encoder, a lot of people will tell you to use the NVIDIA coder. For some reason, it just doesn't work well on my machine. Uh, it messes things up. I have a 980 Ti, um, you know, six gigabyte, which should be fine. Uh, if you want to rescale the output, you can, um, but otherwise just leave it at whatever the output is. I like to use, now see here, I, I usually like to use constant um, bitrate, but lately I've been using variable bitrate. So for XSplit, I definitely use constant bitrate because for some reason it just can't handle variable bitrate very well. Uh, OBS seems to do a better job with variable bit, variable bit rate. <laughs> um, so I usually use a max of 15,000 kilobits per second. Okay, so 15 megabits per second, or not megabits. Yeah. Anyway, 15,000 kilobits per second. Okay. Um, and uh, the rest of these are kind of set here. And so this will this will record it at a pretty well thing because my my output is is pretty high my resolution of my screen is very high and so when you go to video I like to make sure that my base resolution you know is the same as the resolution of my screen because I'm usually using the desktop you know obviously for like 
if you're recording video games or something, you're usually going to be like 1080p or something. I mean, you might be at these higher resolutions, but I doubt it. Um, and then I'm just using a 60 frames per second. And I think that's about it for the settings. I don't think there's really anything else. But these are all my settings. I think you can split the audio if you want. But, you know, for recording, like, meetings at work, you don't, it, it doesn't, you don't really need to do that. So anyway, I'm just going to cancel this out. And um, that's about it. So thanks for watching, and thank you very much.